So in 2018, there was a conference going on a POC convention and Bob came to see me and said that his friend Dave and Eileen are coming into town. You remember Dave from years ago that we met at the church and um, they're coming to the same convention and can they come and stay with us? And I said, well, yeah, of course they can. And I remember him and his wife coming up and having dinner with us or breakfast or whatever it was and having lovely conversations. But I always felt this need to kind of be sort of away from Dave because I, of course, I was pushing God away. And um, I just felt that we were gonna have these conversations. And again, I was being a bit rebellious with it. We ended up going downtown for dinner one night and uh, with um, Eileen's family. We were all together at one point, and then I don't know where all of you guys had went, but then Dave and I were by ourselves. <laughs> I was a matter of feet away from him. And all I can remember was him saying, Shannon, come here. And I thought, no, 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 no. I don't, I can't be doing this right now. But of course I have to be polite. He asked me, he said, what are you looking for? I said to him, so I'm looking for a place that I'm not going to be preached to, that I'm not going to be Bible thumped to, but somewhere that I can call home, somewhere that I can understand the message, somewhere that, you know, I just, I can go in and I can blend in with the crowd and yeah, I want to know Jesus and I, and I know that it's time. And he looked at me and he said, fair enough. And it was at this point that I knew this is when I was saved. On the Sunday, they had asked if I, if I wanted to go to church. Me being me, said, nah, I'm okay for now. So Bob went and it was Broadway that he came to. And that's when I, uh... I, I came to church with him, I think, on the following day. And uh, I think Pastor Darren preached. God had him preach on, on the same topic of uh, uh, forgiveness. And that's when I knew that... Uh, We're going to be okay. <laughs> yep. And here we are. Here we are. When Bob arrived back home, he said, you need to come to this church. The church is incredible. You will feel very comfortable. Um, it's exactly what you're looking for. So needless to say, the following Sunday, um, I walked into Broadway and I've never looked back. Pastor Emily had uh, come out and asked for individuals um, to really think, you know, think hard and see if they, they could give up their time in, in regards to helping out in the kids' ministry because they were short of volunteers. More or less what was happening um, was there was a, a lot of children that were coming down for uh, Sunday school and they inevitably didn't have enough people to volunteer, which in turn meant that they would have to turn the children away from um, coming in and attending. I remember uh, Bob and I looking at each other and we just said instantaneously, like this is exactly where we need to be. We need to offer our help in the kids' ministry. And um, yeah, we never look back. We, we love it. Uh, I totally remember that as well. And my thought was nobody nobody should be getting turned away from hearing God's message, so. Yeah. The moment we started volunteering here, I tell you, we gained a whole lot. Uh, I always thought that we would, uh, we would lose, lose time on hearing God's word, and uh, it's quite the opposite. We've gained so much more. It's such a blessing to, uh, to volunteer, and it's probably like that for any position here. But these kids, uh, wow, what a blessing. I wish I'd done this 30 years ago. <laughs>